Hello to all of my friends from wherever you might be at this moment. I want to welcome you all to another edition of the National Portrait Gallery Storytime program called Introducing. In this program, we share the stories of the people who've helped shape the history of the United States through our portraits. Now, in the United States, June is a National Pride Month. During this month, we celebrate the contributions that LGBTQIA people have made in history. Now these letters, LGBTQIA are used to describe a number of different gender identities and sexual orientations. Now today, I'm going to talk to you all about advocate and writer, Larry Kramer. Larry Kramer was an important member of the LGBTQIA community. This photograph by Robert Giard was created in 1989. In this black and white photograph, we can see a waist length view of a middle-aged man seated in a left profile pose. Larry is wearing a dark colored sweatshirt with a triangle and the words silence equals death printed below it. He also wears a button with the words act up. Background, we can see a light colored wall. We can also see that he is holding his adorable Wheaton Terrier, Molly, in his arms. Now the triangle on this sweatshirt is very important. Now if this photograph were in color, the triangle would actually be pink. So we, again, when you see this triangle with the words silence equals death, this actually refers to a time in the past when people were scared and did not know a lot of information about an illness that affected the LGBTQIA community called AIDS. People like Larry Kramer were upset and angry that this illness was being ignored while many, many people were sick. Larry would spend his life using his emotions to help others understand how important this issue was. Now, I mentioned before that Larry Kramer was an advocate. Now, an advocate is a person who supports or promotes the interests of a cause or group. Larry Kramer spent most of his life advocating for the rights of gay and lesbian people living in America who were treated unfairly and at times in history were not given fair access to jobs, housing, and medical treatment due to discrimination. Now, sometimes when we feel invisible or feel like we're not being listened to, it makes us angry. And sometimes it's hard to figure out what to do when we feel angry. Well, Larry, like many other advocates like Yuri Kochiyama, who we previously talked about on introducing, understood that their emotions, their anger could be used in a way to speak out and be so loud that people couldn't ignore their pain or the pain of others. Now, Lawrence David Kramer, later known as Larry, was born on June 25th, 1935 in Bridgeport, Connecticut. When he was six years old, he moved with his family to Mount Rainier, Maryland, after his father found a job as a lawyer with the Treasury Department. His mother at one time was the director of the Prince George's County chapter of the American Red Cross. His family later moved to Washington, D.C., and Larry Kramer graduated from Wilson High School. He later attended Yale University and received a bachelor's degree in English from the university in 1957. By the 1970s, he was an up and coming writer with an Oscar nominated screenplay for a big Hollywood movie. In 1982, with five friends, Kramer co-founded the Gay Men's Health Crisis, which for many years was the largest provider of services to people with AIDS. During this time, Kramer became very upset with the slow response of the medical establishment and government as many people were becoming very sick and not getting equal access to care. This organization advocated for these people. Now, during his life, Kramer also wrote many acclaimed controversial plays, novels, essays about gay and lesbian people in American society. He based his famous 1985 play, The Normal Heart, on his battle with the organization, The Gay Men's Health Crisis. This play also examined the cultural awareness of AIDS and would later win a Tony Award for Best Revival of a Play in 2011. 
1987, he helped to found a new organization called ACT UP. Now, ACT UP was a direct action, educational, and protest group. The organization got tons of attention for its bold protests. Members would stage protests where they would sit in the middle of a street and stop traffic. But this group was also committed to serious research to helping people who were living with AIDS or HIV. Larry once said that when you have a health emergency, you tell the world and you do something about it. It's called responsibility. Now, Larry Kramer would later leave ACT UP in the 1990s, but would go on to write many plays and books until the end of his life. You know, Larry Kramer once said, I don't consider myself an artist. I consider myself a very opinionated man who used words as fighting tools. He understood the power that each of us have to use our intellect, to use our voices, to speak out against what is wrong. Now, sadly, we've reached the end of this week's introducing. I hope you enjoyed learning about this amazing person as much as I have. And I encourage you to learn more about Larry Kramer in your own time. Until then, we hope to see you next Wednesday for a new story.